Carrie here. So, <clears throat> today I got a box. Um, and once again, UPS just doesn't seem to care. But I am not sure if, um, I mean, yeah, the box has some dents and stuff. Um, but I'm going to show you the contents that came inside the box and they were bubble wrapped. So I don't know if I got duped, um, scammed, uh, or whatever, but, um, I mean, just, just seeing like the dent right here, I would, it's, you know, that one might be damaged, but let me, let me show you guys. And then I'm going to try to, um, I'll show you first. So, yeah, that's one. I think UPS needs to make their uh, boxes like tougher, but um, guys, this this is like hurting me just holding this box. Cause these are not like no nine dollar pops, you know. This one's not that. I mean, it's it's bad, but it's not as bad as those two. Um, fuck. Sorry. And we got Mikey. This one is, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's horrible. It's not, it's, it's bad, but it's not horrible, horrible. So, like I said, they were bubble wrapped. Um, and I got in contact with the guy that I bought them from. And apparently he, um, I got them for a really good deal. I did. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's almost kind of like a too good to be true kind of deal. Um. So I'm just thinking maybe, and I don't know. I could be totally wrong too. That maybe this was just some kind of insurance scam or something for this guy. Cause I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna. Even, I'm. I'll just stop right. I'll, I won't even go into that. But, I mean, just holding these guys like this. <laughs> so I went on YouTube to, to see how I could try to fix them and that's what I'm gonna try to do. Will I be successful? Maybe, probably, 99.9% probably, no, I won't be. But I'm gonna try, I mean, I can't mess up the boxes anymore. So um, yeah, so let's just cut right to it. Okay, so after watching videos, I'm going to try the iron trick. Now, to be honest with you guys, I've never owned an iron in my entire life. Yeah, I know. So, but when I moved into this apartment, there was an iron that was shoved. Um, obviously, they didn't clean it very well. So, there's this iron that shoved, was shoved under one of the cabinets. So, it looks kind of icky. So, hopefully, it works. So I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit and then we're gonna try to iron out a box. All right, so I took the pop out and I flattened the box. Um, and we're gonna try to iron this. Probably not gonna be able to see me do it very well because my camera sucks. But let's try, and oh. Oh, crap. I mean, really, it can't get any worse. Right? Right, guys? Right? <laughs> well, maybe kings and I'll not a freaking iron. 
probably some of you are watching this going, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to save Chunk. All right, so I'll keep at this and yeah. Okay, so I'm back. So I spent about uh, about 40, 45 minutes um, ironing these boxes. Um, they do look a little better, um, but it, it's still, because I'm an inbox collector and the box just is everything to me, really. But, um, so I will show you um, Mouth first. He, it, it didn't turn, I mean, if you, the, like you can still see you know, some of the creases and stuff, but it's not as bad as it, you know, it was, I guess. I mean, it just looks just a little bit better. I guess if you could put in a pot protector, it would look like it was okay condition until I could find a replacement box, which I have a feeling is going to be very difficult. Then we have Mikey. But yeah, again, I mean, it helped a little. Uh, the glare, anyways, there's like there's a circle crease here. I couldn't iron out where anyone didn't really iron out things. So the worst uh, was obviously Chunk um, and Data. So uh, this is what I got Chunk to look like after I ironed the box. See, far, from far away, it, it looks it looks pretty okay. Um, I mean, there's a sort of crease right there, which I mean, like from when I showed you guys this box, I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. And so I think it actually, you know, it came out a lot better than I thought it would actually, to tell you the truth, but I'll still look for a replacement box for all of these, just because, you know, that, I want to see. I mean, it, you can, you can, it's not, I mean, you can, you can see like the, the creases and stuff, but it's not, it's not bad as it was, but it still bothers me. And then I got data, so yeah, I'll show you guys this one was pretty banged up too. See? But, I don't know, like, I mean, it, you know, the iron thing, like, I was like, okay, yeah, what, what, that iron's gonna fix it, but it does, it made it, it made it look better than it did when I got them. I mean, it's still, like I said, keep saying, guys, and I, I'm sorry that I keep repeating myself, but it still bothers me, but, I mean, like, say if you just, you had, like, one pop, that had like maybe a little tiny dent or something, you could totally iron that out and it would be perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, and so I just showed you that, you know, the iron trick can work, but like if you're like a hardcore inbox collector, it might, it might keep you calm until you can find a replacement. Anyways, guys, so if any of you guys have a replacement box for any one of these, uh, hit me up. Um, I'll definitely buy it from you or trade you something for them. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, a mail call for today that was pretty disappointing. So, uh, but I did get another box in the mail. Uh, let me show you what I got real quick and to make up for that. So... Um, 
I got this bad boy in the mail, signed by the, uh, what's his name? The kid who played Elliot, and then I am assuming, uh, e yeah, from the little dude that played E.T. and says, beer good. So that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to add to my collection. Um, I also got a, I don't have it here, but, uh, I'll pause it. Hold on. Editing. Got this. Signed by little kid who played Gage. Which it's funny because, um, and it's Beckett too, in perfect condition. And I like the red, but it's funny because this came in a mystery box with the ET, and then it also had um, this photograph, autograph. I have no clue who what it's from. I think it's from a, a movie, a cheat sheet from Breaking, I think. Anyway, but the funny thing is, is about. Before I ordered this mystery box, I really wanted the the Milo uh, me, oh my, Milo. I think of the guy from here. I was the Mingo Hughes uh, pop. So I bought one. So now I have two, and they're just he just so cool. I would so wish I could meet him, but yeah. So. Um, so I, I just so I got one good box in and then one bad box. But hey, what can you do? Anyways, all right. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Hopefully your box is from UPS or USPS or wherever they're coming from. That they'll handle it with care. Because when you're a collector, it sucks when you get damaged items. So uh, yeah, until next time. See you guys later.